I was actually in the midst of testing these things. My neighbors, they started jackhammering and I like, you know, a normal person went sweet and grabbed the Bose headphones and put them in and went, can I block this out and see Like, could I drift off to this? They actually did manage to block out a uh, jackhammer. <laughs> So Lauren, I think it's probably fair to say that you're the foremost expert on headphones. I don't know that there's anyone who's still reviewing that's reviewed as many as I have. I'm edging up on the 2000 mark since coming to Wirecutter. Talk to me, what are sleep headphones? Kind of like what the name implies, they are headphones just for sleeping. So they're made in an ideal world to be able to be laid upon and that you can essentially drift off listening to something that will help you to fall asleep. What are the reasons that somebody might be interested in buying? Sleep headphones. In the research that we did, we found there's kind of a few camps. So the first one is people who have a hard time winding down at the end of the night. They like to watch videos and movies and things like that and kind of ASMR. Then the second camp is people who have distracting sounds that disturb them at night. So a snoring partner, construction next door, things like that. And then the third are people who have tinnitus. And essentially that piercing sound, you can sometimes help to reduce the impact of it by putting in other sounds around it to kind of confuse your brain a little bit. Before sleep headphones came on the market, what was the experience of using headphones for sleeping? Super uncomfortable, basically. <laughs> There's so much stuff that would smash into your ear canal. A lot of people primarily would complain about them being uncomfortable, waking up in the middle of the night to have to rip them out or losing their earbuds. They fall asleep and if they're true wireless or something, they fall under a pillow, under the you know underneath of the bed. So it was not ideal. How does sleep headphones solve this kind of problem? In the perfect situation, they would stay on your head all night. They'd be soft and comfortable. Depending on your use case, they either block out the sound around you or just give you enough of a mental sort of break before you go to bed. So did people actually fall asleep in these? Yes, believe it or not. I slept many nights in them. Bose, I made it all the way through the night. The Acoustic Sheep, I made it through the whole night. And there's only one pair of our budget type that I actually made it through the whole night with. So Lauren, tell me, what are our recommendations for sleep headphones? Our pick for most folks who are just trying to drift off and listen to some music are the Acoustic Sheep sleep phones. They're $99, they're wireless, they have plenty of battery life to get you through the night. The Acoustic Sheep are the best sounding of the headband style that we had. They have a lot more low notes. They have labeled speakers, so you know how easily you can take them in and out. You know which speaker goes on which side. And they have headbands that come in three different sizes and two different fabrics, so you can choose something that meets your personal needs. So the second option we have are the Bose Sleep Buds 2. They're really the only game in town that block external noise and has some sort of masking sound. The issue with them, of course, is that they're $250 and they don't stream any other media than what Bose provides on their app. So you can't watch YouTube, you can't listen to your own music, only their sounds. Lauren, what do you think about the Bose suite of sound options? They basically have them divided into three different categories. So one of them is more like nature sounds, they have more urban sounds, which I actually thought was kind of great because I do know some people, they like the whoosh of traffic. And then the third is meditation music. I was able to find a combination of, there was like a fall scene with a little bit of an undercurrent of rain sound. My brain kind of settled into it and I didn't really hear what was going on outside. So it's very good at what it does. So in terms of sound quality, the Bose sound very good. Really great lows to highs, it's Bose. They know what to do with sounds. Now, if you are really desperate and you need to block out the world around you and get some rest, they do what they say they're going to, but you're gonna pay a lot of money for it and there are some downsides. And then the third option that we have is their inexpensive option, which comes with a lot of caveats, and that is the Moita. First of all, Moita is a brand we've never really heard of, but they do have unique speakers in that they are a lot more comfortable. They have sort of a foam circle that distributes the weight better than the Walkman style things that were in the other types of things that we tested. They really don't have a lot of low end. Now, granted, we're not expecting most people to be, you know, jamming out to some like EDM before they go to sleep, but maybe that's your thing. And if it is, just bear in mind that you're not gonna get a lot of bass response from those. The headband is on the bigger side, so people with larger noggins might be comfortable, but people with smaller noggins like mine might need to adjust the actual headband size to fit them better. And they have a blinking blue light that you're gonna to need to cover with electrical tape. It will haunt your dreams. That said, for under 20 bucks, they will stream 
they are comfortable, you know, you might be willing to make that sort of trade off. It sounds like the acoustic sheep are good if you want to listen to music. If you have something in particular that you want to fall asleep to, the Bose Sleep Buds 2 are great if you want to block out noise. And then the Moita is like, you don't have a ton of money, you want to try this out, but it's not amazing. That's exactly right. As a category emerges, there's a lot more inequity between the expensive stuff and the cheap stuff. You get a lot of you get what you pay for. And then gradually, as things have been out longer and longer, it kind of narrows. As the world has been more stressful and people are finding ways to cope, I think this hopefully will become something that there will be more options that are more thoughtful. And with that, will also make the prices more competitive and a lot more affordable for someone who just wants headphones for sleeping. Hi, I'm Lauren Dragon from Wirecutter. If you want to learn more about headphones or other products, please like, comment, and subscribe. And now if you don't mind, I'm gonna just get some sleep. Oh, you're just gonna keep licking, aren't you? <laughs>